Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I hope everyone's having a great day today, but if not, hopefully we can change that by the end of this video. For today's video, this is going to be part two to a video that I did a few months ago where I share a bunch of different drugstore hair care favorites. You guys really enjoyed that video. I've been asking for a part two for a while, so thank you for your patience with me. It's just taken me some time to test out new things and accumulate enough things for one video that I love enough to consider to be favorite. So if you are on the hunt for some drugstore hair care finds and you've come to the right spot, we're gonna jump right into that in a second. I do wanna say that a portion of this video is in partnership with Heritage by Mindy. This is an affordable hair care brand that I've talked to you guys about several times before. I actually have an entire dedicated review up on that brand already, which is unsponsored. I shared some of their products in my last drugstore hair care favorites video, so this was actually a really good integration. So the whole video Video is not sponsored just the portions where I talk about their products but you guys know I keep it very real as always I would never share anything with you that I don't genuinely love and I'm not genuinely excited to share with you so we're gonna jump into that in a second but before we do if you could please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on that notification bell and drop a comment below letting me know what your current favorite drugstore hair care product is thanks so much for doing all of those things it really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm so I appreciate you so much and if you need anything from me at all it's listed in my description box below, including Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, discount codes, links to all the products that I'll be talking about, and timestamps. All right, let's talk drugstore hair care. Okay, product number one is one of those that I have from Heritage by Mindy. The name of this is so difficult for me to say. I've refilmed this at least 15 times. Let's see if I can nail it. The Rice is Right Rice Water Hair Rinse. Why is that so hard for me? This is a nourishing hair treatment that boosts the overall appearance of your hair. And I'm personally really excited to share this one with you guys. A lot of you can probably guess why, but in case you're new here, I'll really quickly summarize. I tried out rice water. It's not been a full year yet. I literally keep track because of this whole experience, but we're coming up on a year and I loved it at first. It made my hair feel stronger. It looked softer and shinier. I was getting all of the amazing benefits of rice protein until I unintentionally used way too much too often and I didn't know that, I didn't realize it until it was too late and I started to experience a lot of breakage as a result. So I made a whole video on it. I talked about what I did to kind of address it and fix it. I'm gonna list that below if you haven't seen that yet. But in short, rice water scares the heck out of me because you can really easily overdo it when you're making it at home by yourself. So if you're wondering why the heck I'm recommending this, it's because this just has rice protein added to the formula. It's not the same thing as making rice water at home by yourself, and this is a much safer alternative to getting the benefits of rice protein without the scary potential of what happened to me. So on top of the rice protein, this also has rice extract, hydrolyzed quinoa, which is another protein that will help to strengthen the hair. This has sunflower seed oil, vitamin E, really nice conditioning ingredients, and it has quaternary ammonium compounds, which I'll talk about more in depth in a little bit, but they help to strengthen the hair as well. So this is something that you will want to use after you shampoo. They say to massage it into the scalp from roots to ends. So you can apply it all over, let it sit for three to five minutes, rinse and then you can go ahead and condition the hair and the formula feels great as well it's very silky and conditioning it leaves my hair feeling really soft and does help to detangle and for me i can apply this towards the root and not have to worry about it making my hair look even greasier because it's not a heavy super super thick and creamy formula even though it has that kind of slippy creaminess to it it's just in a lighter weight way so i really enjoy this product i would definitely recommend looking into it if you've been curious about rice water but you're too scared to go the whole diy route. I don't blame you if that's the case. This is a much safer alternative. Okay, next up is from Eva NYC, and this is called the Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. I'm including this because I feel like this is pretty close to being an exact dupe for Amika's The Wizard Detangling Spray. That's probably something you're familiar with if you've watched a lot of my videos because I've recommended it several times. It's so good at detangling the hair because it has this slip to it that a lot of other detangling sprays just don't have, and it makes it easier to detangle without worrying about breakage, which is very helpful if you're somebody like me that has hair that's very very susceptible to intense snarls lucky us so this actually has the same exact first ingredient as amika's the wizard it's cyclopentasiloxane and that is the ingredient that gives it that amazing slip but then it also has a couple other nice plant oils in it like argon oil and sunflower seed oil so amika the wizard has different oils but it's the same type of vibe and the formula 
feels pretty much exactly the same to me. This one is probably a little bit lighter weight, but it has that little slip that you need to help to detangle the hair. So this says that it's going to strengthen, add heat protection, reduce frizz, detangle, soften, cut drying time, give you UV protection, amongst other benefits. They don't say though how much heat protection you get from this. So I wouldn't rely on this by itself if you're gonna go ahead and blow dry or use a different heat styling product. But for detangling, adding this with whatever leave-in conditioner you're using or on top of your heat protection could be a really, really awesome additional product for any of you with tangly hair like myself. Next up is the L'Oreal 8 Second Wonder Water. This one specifically is the LV Dream Lengths Wonder Water, but it's almost identical with the exception of one ingredient to the other Wonder Water that they have. So in general, L'Oreal 8 Second Wonder Waters make it into my drugstore hair care favorites video this says it's a long hair transforming lamellar rinse out it instantly detangles for smooth sleek hair without way down if you're not familiar with lamellar water this is basically a liquid treatment that can help to strengthen damaged hair because it contains quaternary ammonium compounds as ingredients we talked about with the rice water rinse those are a type of cationic surfactant that actually resist being rinsed from the hair they'll form salt bonds they'll strengthen the hair and they'll also help to make the hair more manageable add softness, add shine, and equalize porosity. So while I wouldn't go as far as to say this is going to be a magic cure-all for damaged hair, it's a really nice type of product to add to a damage repair or damage prevention hair care routine that's going to give you really nice benefits and help to manage frizz as an added bonus. So this is also a product that's incredibly easy to use. You actually use it in the same way as at rice water rinse after shampoo, massage it in. It has a very lightweight, silky, liquidy, pretty much feels like water type of formula. It's like water with a little silk and slip added to it. And this is not going to lather up like a shampoo. Even though this product says to leave it on for eight seconds, I feel like I need to leave it in for a few minutes to really get the benefits of it. That's not long enough for me personally. But when I do that, then I feel like my hair is definitely detangled. It's softer, it's shinier, I have less frizz. All around great product. I would definitely check it out if you're on the market for something that's going to help with damage that is very, very affordable. Next up, we have the L'Oreal Everpure Bond Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner. This is definitely one of the best, if not the best drugstore shampoo and conditioner sets I've ever tried. Impressive ingredients, really nice formulas, and something that I really enjoyed using. Of course, this is them jumping on the bond repair train trend that every single brand is jumping on these days. They say that this is going to strengthen inside out by reinforcing weak hair bonds. That's actually something that holds true in this case because this set contains quaternary ammonium compounds plus modified silicone. So both of those ingredients are going to help to strengthen the bonds within the hair and prevent future breakage. Plus this has citric acid very high up on the label. So while I can't confirm for sure if this is pH balanced or low in pH, my hope is that it is because that ingredient is going to help to lower the pH of course of the entire formula. If you wanna see the formulas in action, I'm going to list my review below where I show you that plus also how they compare to Pureology Strength Care because people were saying, this was a dupe for Pureology, so you know I had to look into that, but the shampoo is really nice and lathery, and the conditioner has such a nice formula. I really, really like it. Perfectly thick and creamy, but not too heavy. Next up is the second product that I have from Heritage by Mindy, and this is called the Power Up Protein Treatment. So this is something that I like to use as a mask. Oh my gosh, I love this formula. I'll show you guys in a second, but let's quickly talk through the ingredients. So this does have some added proteins to help to strengthen the hair. Those proteins include hydrolyzed baobab seed protein, never say that correctly, and hydrolyzed quinoa. But on top of that, this has so many nice oils and butters that are going to be very rich in conditioning and nourishing for the hair. So this has castor oil, coconut oil, which you know is a personal favorite of mine. It has shea butter in it quaternary ammonium compounds, so just tons of really, really great ingredients for the hair, and a formula that I love so much. So thick, creamy, dense, mm, it just feels so good, and it really helps to soften my hair, detangle it, make it more manageable, add shine. It's awesome, but it's not too thick and heavy. It's not waxy. That's just not my favorite kind of hair mask formula. It's just perfect. This is my kind of hair mask. You guys know I love one that's really thick. So if you're on the lookout for an affordable hair mask that has great ingredients and a very nice formula, then I think you are going to fall in love with this. Next up is from the brand SGX NYC, and this is called their Hair IQ 10-in-1 Leave-In Treatment. 
Another play of bond repair, this one says 88% of people show damaged hair repair, that this is going to repair and strengthen the hair with bond building technology. Again though, this is a situation where I feel that those kinds of claims and statements are actually warranted based on the ingredient set. Not that they're asking for my approval, but you know, I looked into it. So just like the L'Oreal Everpure set, this also contains quads and modified silicones, but on top of that, it also has a variety of different forms of peptides. Peptides are really important ingredients to look out for in hair care products because the hair is primarily made up of keratin which is made up of peptides. So that is why they can help to strengthen the hair. On top of that, there are other great ingredients in this to soften, add shine, like argan oil, avocado oil, ceramides to help to replenish. Really, really impressive ingredients that all around from the drugstore. I'm like, dang, this is, this is a hard type of product to find. So this is something that you apply as a leave-in on wash day. So on damp hair, after you've gotten out of the shower, you can apply this. It's kind of like a mix between a serum and a lotion because while it's not, it's not like a straight up liquidy serum. It does have a little bit of creaminess to it, but it's also not a thick, creamy leave-in conditioner. It's very, very lightweight. So that's great as well because it's really going to work for all hair types. Next up is a styling product from Pacifica. This is called their Salty Waves Beach Hair Balm. And I haven't really tried many hair care products from Pacifica. Wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I'm very impressed by this. It has great ingredients, especially for being a styling product because I feel like typically with styling products, we don't see a lot of love in them. I mean, I shouldn't say always, but especially from the drugstore, I feel like it's really just basic when it comes to the ingredient set. That's actually not the case here. So this has quats, soy protein, kelp, algae, jojoba oil, rice oil, different plant extracts in it. Really, really nice ingredients, and I really enjoy this formula and how it makes my hair look. So this says it's going to give you that surfer girl vibe, and it will add texture, protect the hair, nourish, defrizz. I feel like it does all of those things for me. So I really enjoy using this on top of any sort of conditioning spray. Kind of dampen the hair a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and kind of just scrunch this through my hair. It's definitely not something that's as lightweight as the last product that we talked about. It has a creamier, thicker consistency, but again, it's not too heavy to me to where it weighs down my hair and is too much. So really, really nice styling product. If you're looking for something to style, add some texture, but also add some love check this one out. Next up is another product from a brand that I haven't really tried much from at all. This is the Raw Sugar Multi-Miracle Leave-In Conditioner and Heat Protectant. So this is it's going to give you lightweight, silky hydration. It'll detangle, reduce damage, tame frizz, soften split ends. Again, this is a product where they don't say the level of heat protection that you get. So like the max temp that it protects you from. So I would recommend using another heat protection on top of this. Before leave-in conditioner, it's so, so good. Again, another ingredient set that I definitely feel impressed by from the drugstore. So really quickly, some of those ingredients include a couple of strengthening ingredients like quats and hydrolyzed pea protein, but where I feel this really kind of shines is in the oil department. There's so many different amazing oils in this argon, coconut, castor, baobab, grapeseed. And the reason why I love that in leave-in conditioners is because that's not only going to add shine and softness, of course, but be really beneficial for detangling purposes. So this one is definitely thicker. I don't know if that's the right word. Creamier, I would say, and a little bit more conditioning than that Eva NYC primer. It's really great. And I mean, all of these products honestly smell really good, but this Oh my gosh, I love the smell of this, oh my gosh. Second to last is the last product that I have from Heritage by Mindy and my personal favorite of the three. This is called the Take Your Vitamins Argon Oil. So this is an oil that yes, does have argon oil. It also has avocado oil, sunflower seed oil, and different forms of silicones in it. So silicones are great ingredients. They get a bad wrap, but they help to condition, detangle, and protect the hair. We don't have a problem with silicones over here. The reason why I'm such a huge fan of this product is because of the formula. I feel like I've tried so many oils from the drugstore that are just too thick and heavy and greasy and they really weigh down my hair. That is not the case with this at all. It's very lightweight for an oil, but still obviously has the slip of an oil so that it adds amazing shine, softness. It really helps to tame flyaways and frizz. It is such a great oil. So I will often use this on my hair midweek when my hair is getting a little frazzled between washes, 
just warm it up in the middle of my hands and kind of run it through the ends of my hair. But this is also something that can be great to use before you shampoo your hair. So as many of you guys know, I love to apply oil before I shampoo. This is a great way to help to protect your ends from being overly stripped and damaged by shampoo, which all shampoos are inevitably going to do. And oil all over the ends, honestly, I go from like here all the way down to my ends, can really help to protect your hair and just make your hair look even shinier and softer after you wash. So I love this oil. I would definitely recommend it if you are on the lookout for one that is lighter weight and not at all greasy. Okay, last up is from The Ordinary. So this is definitely the priciest out of all of these products so far, but it still is under $20. So I would consider that to be affordable, especially for what it is. So this is called the Multipeptide Serum for Hair Density. It says it's a concentrated serum for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. So this serum contains a handful of ingredients that have been shown to promote hair growth. And while the studies that exist are limited, there's not a lot out there, the studies that do exist are very promising. And honestly, I would say something like this is going to be your best bet if you're looking to see substantial results in the hair growth department, because there's a lot of other products out there, brands out there that say that they're going to promote longer, fuller, healthier, stronger looking hair but don't really have ingredients to back up those kinds of claims, and this one does. So those ingredients include Rudensil complex, Procapyl peptide complex, Capixel, Bicapyl, and Anagain. And I also really like this because it's such an easy product to incorporate into your routine and it's lightweight enough to be able to use it every single day, both morning and night, without a lot of buildup and without your hair looking super greasy. So it's very, very, very lightweight, pretty much just feels like water. And to use this, all you do is drag the dropper along the scalp and then you can massage it into the scalp. Again, you can apply it as much as up to two times a day, every single day if you would like to and I tried this out I forget for how long was it three full months it may have even been less time than that now that I think about it but I was not even using this product correctly I didn't realize that this was something that was supposed to be left on I mean I easily could have read the directions <laughs> but I was applying it the night before I shampooed my hair washing it out the next morning and only doing that once a week and in doing that for not that long I still saw results so I'm gonna list my before and after review on this product below if you would like to see those results for yourself but it worked for me. I would definitely check it out if you want something to promote hair growth that's not going to break the bank. Like I said, I think this is your best bet. All right, you guys, that was the last product that I wanted to share, which means that we have made it to the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Of course, I hope you found some products that you were excited to get your hands on. Let me know what those products are in the comments below. As always, everything is listed in my description box in order of mention with a link so it's very easy for you to find. If you would like a part three on this series, which I just decided is going to be a series, let me know. I can definitely do that. I already have some products up my sleeve. Thank you again to Heritage by Mindy for partnering with me on part of this video. It means the world to a smaller size creator like myself. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. It helps me out so much with the algorithm. So thank you so, so much for your support. Stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.